It's now uh, 6.30 at night. Uh, these seeds have been in the water, give or take, four hours or so, I think. And uh, we're ready to go. So they've just been sitting in here, right, in the water. They're absorbing the water. They're all in here. I've got all the zucchinis and everything else. I've got a 72 cell seedling tray. And what we're gonna do is, so just right off the bat, normally when I plant either a zucchini or a cucumber seed, they go directly into solo cups, right? Holes punched in the bottom, drainage, all that. But when I'm doing multiple cups with this many, I really don't want to have to do right off the bat another, I don't even know, 60 solo cups right now worth of seeds, right? I really just don't feel like doing that. So I'm going to do them in cells. And the nice thing is, is once cucumbers and zucchini start to grow, they're going to grow really fast. So the benefit to that is because they're in these cells, their roots are going to occupy all the space in these cells really quickly. So transplanting them is going to happen pretty easy and pretty quickly. And on top of that, that'll give me a couple of days to get to a dollar store and buy a whole bunch of more of these sleeves. Um, because, yeah, well, because that's what's going to need to happen. So we're going to start off with the Wisconsin pickling cucumber. And uh, these are grow, these grow really prolific, lots and lots of little tiny cucumbers, you know, four or five inch cukes. And they, uh, they're great for container growing. So I'm going to grow some of these at the garden, and then I'm going to grow some of these on my balcony where they're going to get lots of afternoon sun. And they work really well in containers. So I think the best way to get these out will be to show you what I'm doing here because they're in cups so I've got a margarine or a yogurt container which I use to make all my labels I have a solo cup for planting with some holes in the bottom and we're literally just going to pour it in and now I don't have to fish these out of the water they'll just drain out like that and now I have access to all those seeds so we'll just put that up there, put that water out of the way because I am clumsy and uh, I, <laughs> you guys are going to laugh. I literally have like a little tiny cubby of workspace. Check this out. So here's where we're at. There's the tote of water with the mosquito dunks and 18 more peppers, flats of tomatoes, more tomatoes, another 72 cell, more plants, more plants, more plants, more plants, more plants. There's the ladies and some basil on the other side of that, down there on this makeshift table, there are more peppers that you just can't see on the ground over there. You might just be able to, yeah, there's just the tops of them. There's five big ass pepper plants. And then we have more tomatoes and a couple extra peppers and uh, Tommy Toe tomato I was transplanting today. And then this is my entire workspace that I have left. <laughs> so I'm plumb out of room. So tonight when this video, after this video is filmed, what I'm doing is I'm taking this tabletop sort of unit out of here. And then I'm taking this out of here and everything is just gonna have to sit right on the ground and I can pack them tighter together, have a little more space. And then I'll just drop that light down because it's on pulley systems, see the pulley? And I will just drop the pulley, I'll drop the light closer to the ground and then I'll just have to work around it because I don't have any more space. Oh, and on top of that, there are one, two, three, there are three more full totes of planted plants outside the greenhouse that way. 
that I don't even have space for in here right now. So it's getting to the point of being redonkulous. So um, let's keep going. I was standing on a little, uh, a little stool that I use for a seat. So all we're going to do, I mean, you guys have planted lots of stuff before. So all we're going to do is, here's my cell. I'll just show you guys a couple because you're not going to really need to see all of it, right? So uh, what I am going to do, I'll let you know up front, is I have pots. Oh. So some of the um, some of the striped zucchini seeds, because they're they're full size seeds, I'm going to up pot right away into these, as well as the two the two dark green zucchini, because those are the only dark green zucchini seeds I had left. I thought I bought another pack. I don't. And they're going to go into here. Everything else is going to go into these seed trays. So uh, we're not going to bury them deep. We're just literally just going to dibble some holes. They don't need to be deep. I've already pre-moistened all this mix. So you guys kind of get the process, right? Take seeds. Put seeds in holes. By the way, um, wet seeds suck to plant because they stick to you. Just a bit of useless knowledge. See what I'm saying? Look at that. Get off my finger. So I'm just gonna go through. What I'll do is I'll just put a label at the top row for this row. Get off my finger like that. So I'm gonna use a label like this. I'm just gonna stick it in the top row and then wherever this cup of seeds ends, but even if it's down here or whatever, I'll just put a label here and I'll just start more rows. So that's all I'm going to do. So that's it, guys. So now that these have been soaked, they are going to take off way faster. And we also, we also did that scarification process, right, where we cut the hole in the bottom. And uh, they're going to take off a lot faster because the water has been able to get through that really hard shell. And that's going to allow that cell or that seed to realize that it's go time and uh, it's time to start growing. So it's Sunday now. Uh, I th it's either it's the end of April. Anyways, I'm not entirely sure what the date is, but. It's the end of April. What I'll do is I'm planting all these tonight. And as soon as they break through the soil, I'll do an update video and I'll show you guys. All right, show you how fast this happens. So I'm going to get to planting the rest of these seeds. You guys are going to get bored just watching me put seeds in dirt, especially because they're sticking to my fingers and it's going to take three times as long. So, and if you're wondering, hey, Green Thumb, are you still getting tomatoes? Oh, you bet. Ready? Listen. Oh yeah. They taste like they were grown in the sunshine. I got so many tomatoes, they're falling off the plants. Look at that. There's a tomato right there. I gotta go get that one. Put it in my lunch. Okay guys. Love you all very much. Subscribe to the channel guys if you're not. Please share this video out. We're trying to get as many people growing this season as, season as possible. I'm getting a lot of messages from new growers asking for help. So if we can share this content out, it's going to make a difference to some people. Smash that uh, big thumbs up button. Leave me a comment. Have a great day. Grow good food. See ya. Bye.